Aloha, welcome to Healing Oasis. I'm Reverend Dr. Glenn Swartout. Today I'd like to answer some of the common questions that you may have about biofield analysis and accelerated self-healing. So what is accelerated self-healing? What is biofield analysis? This is a, a process where we tune into your body's own healing processes. You're always healing. Uh, sometimes you notice, sometimes you feel things going on in the body. We have symptoms that tell us, give us a clue that there's something happening, maybe that your body needs some extra material substance or like a nutrient, maybe some extra energy, like the body works on electrical energy or even light energy or the information that's carried by that light. And so that if there's missing elements in your environment, your current diet and activity and thinking and, and your environment, then your body might be struggling with the same symptoms over a long period of time. It might never be able to resolve that issue. And meanwhile, your body is always reconstructing itself constantly. You know, in, in, in 100 days, you've got completely new blood cells. And in many areas, like the lining of the, of the intestinal tract, is way faster than that. Some areas, like the bones, take longer to turn over. But we're always rebuilding the body. And the material substance can only move along the lines and directions of the energy flows. And the energy will flow along the, the pathways and directions and, and, and goals that the body information, the body-mind-spirit complex has in its information blueprint for healing. So we looked at all of those levels rather than just treating the body as a physical bag of chemicals or physical uh, construction, biological construction. We recognize that the body is very intelligent, it's designed to heal itself, designed for survival, and so rather than us identifying what the, the problem is and putting a name on it, like the, the disease model, we feel that the best way to heal is for you to heal yourself. And that takes all of you, that takes all parts working efficiently, working together as a team. That's the most effective, fastest, easiest, and efficient way to heal anything. And, and over the years, we've seen so many things heal that the textbooks say can't be healed, that we don't assume that there's something that can't be healed. Uh, how will we know unless we try? When I was trained in school as a doctor, they would say, you know, with a certain condition, uh, maybe cataracts, there's no treatment, it only gets worse, so you watch it get, get worse until it's bad enough that the surgeon can cut it out. I didn't believe that that was necessarily true, and so 30 years ago I started uh, looking into the literature, first of all, finding hundreds, over a hundred factors that were related specifically to cataract progression, cataract prevention. Nutritional factors, herbal factors, homeopathic factors, lifestyle factors, dietary factors. And, and that's what I emphasize in, in our books uh, on specific eye diseases, that being my background as an eye doctor, but we work with whole people now. And so whether you're dealing with eye issues or a whole range of, of issues in the body, mind, and spirit, by healing the whole, your whole person on all those levels, you get the best chance of, of being able to reverse some of the, the changes that can happen, degenerative changes in the structure of the body, in the chemistry of the body. You know, in, in nature, for example, heavy metals build up with age. They build up in the food chain. So the natural history of heavy metal toxicity is it only gets worse. But in healing, in the healing process, the body can eliminate. Uh, for example, a study done on, on rats exposed to arsenic, they only excreted about a third of what they were exposed to. But then with a single homeopathic dosage, actually technically isopathic, of a non-toxic level, a signal, an information signal of arsenic, the, the animals excreted half of what was in storage. So we can reverse that tide, we can you know, swim upstream or against the tide of, of the toxins in our environment. We know in the modern environment there's 70,000 plus toxic chemicals that didn't exist in our genetic history. Uh, so we need extra support, we need extra help to achieve our potential for healing. And really the reason for that is that we are not just a body to be healed, we have a mind and a spirit that needs a healthy body in order to support us in having more freedom in our lives and, and having the ability to make choices so that we can learn